Hello, I just want to give you another update on the Pi 3C engine and also the model that I've been working on. It's taking quite a while to do it, but um, I am um, honing, if you like, the, the Pi 3C engine to run not just for 2D and 3D apps, but also, or 3D games, but also for apps as well, to see if we can produce something quite serious on the Raspberry Pi. And uh, when I say on the Raspberry Pi, I say, well, the Raspberry Pi 4 can already do that, but I'm actually designing for the Raspberry Pi Zero as well to see how far we can actually push this little five pound computer to run something more serious, like a full blown graphics at 3D um, software. So um, I'm just going to demonstrate what the modeler can do you, on the Pi Zero. We're going to create a few shapes, starting off with some spheres. And you'll notice now that the shapes are created by um, one or two clicks rather than just clicking once and one and a shape appearing and then resizing, which is rather awkward. But these multiple clicks, I can actually um, very quickly develop my model like so in any of the views. The last click is always the depth that we can see being built up in the perspective view and the other views as well. Let's try one or two others like tube. That takes three clicks. Or let's try um, a good old favourite is the torus. Spun that out. And there we have a very quick um, scene which if I put any care into it would actually resemble something but it doesn't so I'm just demonstrating as I say some some of the um, things you can do with this model is you can you, now using these shapes you see on the left hand side very similar to another modeling called software called 3ds max if you're familiar with 3ds max you'll find its shapes are generated more or less the same way and um, we can build up our scene in that way now I've shown you obviously um, a very simple scene here but we're going to show now another one if I delete this scene load one in that's a lot more complex and we'll see where we end up as it does. As you have noticed we're hovering over Earth at the moment in this scene and quite appropriately if I just turn the grid off you'll notice also that this scene is another spaceship. <laughs> I'm afraid you must realize now by now that I'm quite f quite fond of spaceships but this one's a quite unique when it's expanded out into full view and uh, I've also added WAS and D keys for um, first person navigation around um, which is great because um, any every game will be familiar with that and uh, we can as we do as we navigate around we can take a look inside the control room of this landing bay and let's go and zip out and let's take a look on the outside of this this ship that we're in turn around and here we have it, there's the landing bay we've just been in. You'll notice up there we have um, these biodomes and we have a ring over here, one of the uh, sort of like a um, simulated gravity ring and uh, we also have one or two other areas I'm going to take you to. So let's let's zip up to one of the biodomes and we can press shift and speed up a little bit and in this biodome you notice we'll have some trees we have um, a central building there and the idea of this is to obviously if you're going anywhere for a few light years you don't want to be um, you want to want something to remind you of home and so these biodomes are very much help you feel at home even on those long journeys so um, anyways that, that's inside the dome there and one of the other features I've added as well as W A S and D is if we look in the bottom right hand corner here um, you'll notice there's a little man icon and that man icon allows me to jump from one place to another very quickly so if I wanted to jump next to the tree down here I can just hit the man and jump next to the tree and um, if I go back to rotate again I can see I'm actually sitting under that tree so there's a nice quick way of jumping around anyway that's the biodome and then we're going to cheat a little bit and go through into the main um, into another section here whoops as we fly around, we see we've also got a, a something like a shopping mall, if you like. Um, I think when, when you're on one of these journeys, you want to go um, have a place which, again, looks familiar. And um, here we have a, a shopping mall with, with projected images of clouds above and, and green grass, again, to help you feel at home. And in this, ideally, it would be, it would be populated with lots of shops and buildings and people. 
Um, I've done one one place here was a little cafe, and if I just if I get the, get the little man again, I can drop in to that cafe and to see what it's like. There we go. Now we can just look around and have a look inside. So there we have that. Over here I had a, an, another idea which came out of the news quite recently. Not my idea of course, but um, the idea of getting... You, you know that when we go around spaceships quite often there's lots of long corridors and lots of um, lots of lifts and so on. I, I think it'd take a, about a good hour to get around something like the Starship Enterprise for instance. So one idea is, have, is to actually have these little capsules which you can get into and they'll shoot you off somewhere in the spaceship very quickly in the vacuum. Um, tube, if you like, and we, we've heard that on the news recently. And the same idea is, is here: is that it will take you from one place to another very, very quickly. So um, that was one of the ideas I was, I was experimenting with. Um, let's go. Lastly, off to the ring that we saw earlier. So let's just fly out again. We can. This is just a basic editor, so there's nothing fancy. There's no um, collision detection at the moment. We're just going to zip out and let's take another another view over here and we have another one, another one of those capsules which actually has been zipped along the arm inside here so we're going to just quickly jump on it and giving an idea of what it's sort of like inside on those capsules and what the view would be like in one of them going oops going up that arm so anyway, that's just to give you an idea really of, of what what this Raspberry Pi Zero is dealing with at the moment. And uh, again, we could probably do something fairly serious with it. And keep pushing the Pi Zero and keep pushing the the the, the engine until it's it's a, a very usable experience, even on a five pound computer. And uh, to even design this sort of um, this sort of model on there. This model, of course, wasn't designed on in my editor. It was something which I did do in um, 3ds Max, but I'm aiming to do something similar in that we can design models as complex of that as this in the in the modeler. You won't have all the, the bells and whistles of something like 3ds Max. Obviously, it's that my 3ds Max and Mayer and Blender are obviously far more complex than this. But it's to give an idea so to just present all of the the, the most usable easy tools to use um, that things like 3ds max have to offer and I can I want to add things like once this once this ring has been added it can then be rotated and spun around with some basic animation that the paths can be formed to take you down the tubes and so on so it allows you to s assemble a scene as well as, to, as design it and uh, which can then be used for games and so on anyway I thought I'd update you with that and to give you an idea of how it's getting on even on the Raspberry Pi Zero. So thank you once again for watching.